guys you're watching domino autonomy and my name is sarah welcome back today i have something awesome for you guys um so i was going through some storage this past week and i found this oh my god it's so huge and so dusty <laughs> but this is my old um art portfolio so i kind of thought it'd be fun to like go through and check this stuff out some of the stuff I have not looked at in so many years. I don't even remember what's in here. So I thought it would be fun just to, um, you know, check it out. Oh, this stuff is so dusty and old. This is like um, an old oil pastel drawing that I did. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's so weird to see, like, like, how far I've come. That one actually looks pretty, like, faded. Oh my gosh. You guys, what the hell is this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Angsty. Oh man. So this stuff is like from high school. Um, oh my god. This is horrible. So this was a self portrait I did in high school. Check out that uh, intense lighting there. <laughs> it's wild. Oh, so this is cool. Um, I did like a printmaking class. And um, this is a giant piece of linoleum and you get these little like metal tools and you can kind of carve away the linoleum and then you would put this through a printing press so you would like ink it and um, I wonder if there's any completed prints in here. Let's check. Let's look. Pen gun. <laughs> so it's like a penguin from an old um, a mint tin. There was a brand. Um, and I can't remember what it was called, but this was just like an inside joke with friends or something. It was so long ago. Gosh, I'm getting so old. But, um, so yeah, so I didn't go to college, but I went to an art school for high school and, um, I didn't, I don't come from like a really wealthy family or anything, but my, my town offered grants for kids to go and I, um, I did have to apply and do like a jury process and I ended up getting picked, like, gosh, I think there was only, like, probably 11 kids in my my whole grade level for um, visual arts. So that was really awesome. Um, I just, I got lucky, I guess. This was a fun one I did in printmaking. Got the, um, so the black one, this is another linoleum. The center one is a plexiglass etching. And then this one is with some kind of like graphite on a paper. I can't exactly remember, but you soak the whole paper in water and then you run it through a printing press. You like each, you ink each panel and you lay them all out. <clears throat> it's a really interesting process. Um, I wonder if this is like mostly printmaking. This is another one I did. This one took me my entire senior year. Um, it's a plexiglass etching. So I'll probably edit in some pictures of, um, of each of these so you can check them out. But so this is all etching with a little tiny metal tool onto plexiglass. And then you ink the panel and you run it through. so weird I have not I literally have not looked through this folder in years this is more printmaking linoleum hmm. let's see oh this one was fun okay so this was a whale that I did um I don't know if you've ever seen like the beached whales how they like cut them apart I guess I was really into like a lot of dark and angsty stuff when I was in high school. And I did a whole bunch of really awesome prints 
and my art teacher, um, my senior year that I was graduating, she was like, I want to borrow a bunch of these pieces for an art show and I'll mail them to you. And she never mailed them to me. Like literally so many awesome things she kept. And, um, I mentioned this before, but I got pregnant my senior year. So I just, my whole life kind of changed and I guess I didn't really like go back and go after that stuff, which I probably should have. But, um, oh yeah. See, these are like all the bad copies. She got all my good copies. I did this like dissected frog on like a weathered paper, I guess. And that's like definitely not one of the good ones. She has all of those. Which is a total bummer. So I definitely have like better sketchbooks and like art and stuff I could show you. This was a um just a sketch before I did a final painting of this. This was based off of a collage and then we sketched the collage and then we painted it and uh, we can only do like one color. I did red. Got like Marilyn Monroe and some albino animals and just some cool stuff. Um, this was like a live. We had um, some nude models come in and do sketching. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Charles Manson. <laughs> oh god. So this picture, um, this was a self-portrait I did and um, so it's in rough shape now because I just, it's so old, but um, this piece was chosen to get displayed at um, the Wadsworth Athenaeum um, Art Museum in my state. And it was just a super cool art contest. I ended up getting second place. And I'm really glad that I didn't get first place because I'm pretty sure it was like money, like grant money for a college. And I didn't end up going to art school. But it is what it is. Um, are these more figure drawings? I always loved when we had models. Um, <laughs> here's my first preliminary sketch for my, uh, my infamous Alex DeLarge. Are, uh, from Clockwork Orange. A lot of people love my painting. It's been hanging in my house for so many years and people always ask me for it and I just don't think I'll ever part with that. Um, let me see. I don't know if this is the book that I think it is. I have so many different sketchbooks. But this is just one I hadn't been through in a long time. Oh yeah, this one has some fun stuff. So this is just like a soldier. I like like old um, propaganda posters. That one was fun. That's just like ballpoint sketch I did. an old pencil sketch I did and I scanned it to just kind of get like a wait this this one's the original and I scanned it so you could get better contrast because it was just so old and crappy but I love like pinup pinup girls This picture that I drew and then for some reason I cut it and like had it displayed in here all weird. So kind of fun colors though. Like I said a lot of this stuff was when I was from like 15. Just like forever ago. 
Um, what is this? Like an old landscape. Not that great. Mm -hmm. Experimenting with uh, mixing colors. Oh, here's some weird stuff. Here I was like messing with um, silhouettes. <laughs> Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> oh man, I was such a weird kid. Yeah, like what the heck is this? <laughs> this is me as a child trying weird things. lab rat. <laughs> uh, some of these I don't even want to don't want to share. Oh, this was more when I was messing with silhouettes. Okay, so here's one where I had to do like a, a tiny self-portrait. That's weird. Oh, here's two. These are two I did when I was like 12 years old. I think they're pretty good for a young kid. They look really cute together. I think these were in my portfolio when I applied. This is when I was really into like collaging, making weird stuff, just experimenting with different textures and things that maybe I was going to paint later. I like to use collages for inspiration for paintings. Let's see if I can just hold this up. These are all just some spiders I did. This might not be the most interesting video. <laughs> Aww. This is something my daughter made. <laughs> I must have just stuck it in here. That was my oldest daughter. Gosh, she's going to be 13. That's how long ago this stuff was. Um, this was a collage I had done. It's called Boob Mountain. <laughs> And I did um, a whole triptych series of like these collages that I made and then I painted them. This one came out really cool. I remember my teacher, my art teacher wanted to buy it from me. Maybe one of these days I'll pull out like all my giant paintings. Like I said, a lot of these are just like sketches and printmaking. I did do like a lot of larger, nice paintings. Maybe someday I'll give you a, a, a whole painting tour of all my finished stuff here. But uh, yeah, that was really fun to check out. Like I said, I haven't been through there in a long time. And I thought it would just be fun to check it out and uh, share it with you all. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that's about all. You guys have a great day. Thanks so much.